So today I'm doing another black box unboxing. Um, this is the January box and I'm kind of especially excited to open this because I saw on the Facebook page that there's actually going to be something cat themed in here and I love cats and all animals really. So pretty excited to see exactly what it's going to be. Alright, so let's open this up. Black tissue paper on top. Book page packaging. Alright, let's start pulling things out. Ooh, this is definitely something different. Looks like a belt. I think this is a belt that goes around your waist. So. I can do this, I promise. Alright, so. I think it's a belt. It's supposed to be worn like this. So that's pretty adorable. Um, I wear belts like this with dresses all the time because I do like. Um, my clothing to fit tightly around my waist. So that's a really nice accessory to throw in there. Definitely a nice, um, nice change from the, uh, hairpins I was getting that I tend to not really use that much. So, this is really nice. Nice waist belt. And, see, the detail here. And then the middle part is actually elastic. So that's awesome. I like that. Alright, so next we have the nail polish most likely. Wrapped in book paper and another black nail polish as always. I do kind of wish I'd get a different kind than this one though. I've gotten the same one in all but my first box. So, yeah. I see some people in boxing get like sparkly blacks. I want that. Alright, so next, I'm pulling out this little sachet. And it says Shadow Spire Coven, Courage and Strength. Keep near money to ensure riches. Alright, so I'm guessing this is like a little spell bag with, um, it's filled with like herbs. And it's tied with a little moon charm here, which is really cute. So, um, suppose I will sit this where I keep my money, and we'll see what happens. It looks like I've got some rose petals for sure in here. Yeah, I can definitely smell the rose. Not sure what else, but yeah, so that's pretty cute. Nice little witchy addition to the box. Something different as well. This says Oops Anklet. So it looks like it's a I guess a chain that decorates your shoes. That's pretty different. Although I don't know if I have heels that are that high, but maybe it would work in my boots. My only concern oh, okay, I have I think I have two concerns with this. First, there's only one, and I'm really into symmetry. So I'm not sure how much it would bother me if I only had like one boot with a chain on it other rather than both. Also, I'm not sure how much noise this would make when I walk. I kind of like being inconspicuous and not a huge fan of drawing a lot of attention to myself. So how I use this is going to depend highly on how I feel about those two things when I try it out. Um, Otherwise, I'm sure I could use it to decorate something. Um, it's just clasps in the back here. Get this off of here. Alright, so... Ooh. No, not quite. <laughs> Although, I could probably, uh easily rig this into a necklace if I decide I don't like it. 
and the boot charm. I think that would make a cute necklace, don't you think? Yeah, so I'll try it as a boot decoration, and if it's not for me, this will probably get repurposed into a statement necklace. Alright, awesome. Alright, next, covered in herbs! <laughs> oh man, yeah. I've got little, like, herbs all over this box from that sachet. Alright, so I got a Madly, Madly Matte Lip Gloss. Didn't know lip glosses could be matte. And the color royal. Let's open it up. Put it on. Looks to be a really pretty purple color here. Alright, that's really adorable. Hands are covered in herbs. So it's just a really pretty dark purpley berry gloss. Mm. And it feels really nice on the lips, like it's not, it doesn't feel like it would just like rub off instantly. I'm probably going to end up wearing this today. I really like this. This is a really pretty color. Awesome. Oh, it's by Clan Color. Okay. Sweet. Oh, here's the kitty. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I think it's like a little craft thing where you can take this box, like this cardboard, and fold it into a box for your kitty to sit in. Cause kitties like boxes. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, online game Neko Atsume that I was like obsessed with for a really long time, but now I'm caught and taking pictures of all the cats and bought all the items. <laughs> so I haven't been playing it a lot lately, but this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's open it. Let's open it. It's called Kitty House It. Alright, so we got, we got Bori, he's a Siamu cat, we got a little piece of white paper, so then this little booklet opens up to tell you how to do things. Alright, here, let's, let's, let's see here, hmm, okay, hold it so that Bori is fold this here and fold all right i'm doing some doing some folding as per the instructions i feel like these instructions aren't very clear i don't know what i'm doing ah It goes from being flat like this, and then the next instruction is make it into a box. <laughs> I don't... I don't know how... Oh my god, I just realized... This cat's like a post-it note. Like... Are you seeing that? That's why it's called a kitty house it. Because it's a post it. Oh my god. This cat just became so much more functional. Maybe if I can get him in this box. Which is very... Uh, it's up in the air right now. This is... This is instruction two. And this is instruction three. Like it goes from have everything laid out flat to suddenly have him in this box. And then the fourth instruction is just close up the box. I don't, I cannot get from step two to step three. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like sit down <laughs> and take some time to figure this out because I have no idea. I really wish these instructions were a bit more uh, 
detailed so I could actually put this guy together for you here. Sorry about that. All right. All right, so the last thing in here is this little black pouch with some jewelry in it. Oh my goodness. I got some super dangly earrings. Look at these guys. These are humongous. Holy crap. Let's put them in. These are definitely a statement piece for fancy outings and such. Look at these suckers. I wish you could uh, see them a little better, but they're like so shiny. They keep catching the light like crazy. Back up. Get in front of my Pikachu blanket. Oh man, these are intense. But I like them. I like them. Definitely not my favorite piece of jewelry I've gotten, but something different for sure. They are a little heavy, but I know that bothers some people, but I'm not personally bothered by heavy earrings and the like. Alright, so that was everything that I got in my box this month. Let's do a quick review as usual. I got these mega dangly earrings. This really cute waist belt for dresses and baggy shirts. Um, this boot anklet, which may be transformed into a necklace, depending on how I feel about it. This really pretty lip gloss that, like, normally lip glosses, like, stay wet and sticky, but this is, like, dried, like, I don't know, it's really cool, like, I've never, like, had a formula like this before, I really like it. Anyway, this kitty cat that I need to sit and figure out how to put in his box. <laughs> the black nail polish and the money-enhancing little witchy pouch. Alright, so that is it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, so, as usual, I will be putting um, a more in-depth review on my blog with better close-up pictures, so I'll put the link down below once I get that done, so be sure to check it out. Um, hopefully I'll have the kitty cat put together by then. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Bye!